One of the features the C-sharp guys have had for quite a while is IntelliSense Everywhere. Want to create a private variable? Just start typing private and hit the tab key as soon as the word's highlighted. This, combined with code snippets, have made coding in C-sharp quite a bit faster than coding in VB. Well, what about the VB guys? Sorry, all the VB guys got was the ability to see methods and properties hanging off of their objects. They've had to type out the whole word for things like public, private, dim, and class until now. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you uh, what the C-Shark guys had in Visual Studio 2005, what the VB guys had in Visual Studio 2005, and then what the VB guys get now in Visual Studio 2008. I'm also going to uh, warn you about a, a bug that I found while I was preparing this demo. So first let's take a look at Visual Studio 2005 and C Sharp. And if we go into here and start typing private, you'll see private shows up. Or if we start typing public, there's public. Or protected, they're all there. Well what about if then else. Well, if we go into our function block here and start typing if, there's our if. Hit the tab keyword, our tab key, and there we go. We got a, a block of code for an if. Go in here and do the same thing for a while. There's our while. Hit the tab key, get a while block. You can do the same type of thing for for next block. Let's go in here and type for tab and we get everything stubbed out for our for next loop. Well what about VB? Let's go take a look at VB. Say private, nothing shows up. Protected, nothing shows up. There's just nothing going to show up here. Dim, how about an if then else? If nothing shows up while nothing shows up we want to work off an object let's say my base now we start getting IntelliSense that's what we had in VB in 2005 well, let's switch over now to VB9 in VB9 or Visual Basic 2008 depending on how you want to call it come in here and type private there's our private keyword, public, protected, they're all there. I want to do an if then else block. There's your if. I'm going to do a while block. There's your while block. I'm going to do See a for an x block. Here's your for an x block. Already stubbed out, ready for you to put your information in. Now one of the other things that we get, and just make a little change here. One of the other things that we get with uh, Visual Studio 2008, and this applies in both C Sharp and in VB, is we get to hide the IntelliSense now while we're doing our stuff. Now a lot of times what will happen is you'll be working on something. Let's go back to that my base example I did earlier. You'll hit the period, get your drop down list, you want to start working on stuff, maybe you want to do uh, an added control function. right? Well a lot of times what you want to do is you want to see what was underneath and you can do that now by pressing the control key. Of course you can't see that I'm pressing the control key but that's what I'm doing. And it hides so I can see all the stuff that's underneath there. That's going to be very valuable as we move forward uh, working on our code. It's one of those things that now we have it, we think it should have been there all along. Let's go in here in C Sharp just to show you that it works the same way in C Sharp. And uh, we can go in here and type in, uh, let's just type in private or protected or whatever. We got the pop up and hold the control key down and it hides our IntelliSense. So that's going to be really useful. Now one of the gotchas that I did discover while I was working on this video 
is that if you build a web app and you start out saying you want the web app to be C sharp code uh, and then you go and add uh, a piece of VB source code what's going to happen is your IntelliSense is just not going to work in VB uh, it's going to be completely broken. Your C sharp will still work but your VB won't uh, so if you know you're going to go and create a mixed language uh, web application which go create a VB application and if you go create the VB application and then create the C sharp app uh, code block uh, you'll still get IntelliSense in both VB and in C sharp